Okay, I'm back. I have finished cutting down the signature and I've installed it in the book. I've had this tied down for a couple hours trying to get it to form into shape. So um, I wanted to go ahead and just show you a little bit. Um, I have placed this picture on a black cardstock and have sewn it down. Or I've sewn around it and then I glued it down. I have a piece coming up over here so I'm going to have to glue that down a little bit. And then we have, uh, so I've sewn around all these pages. Now, like I said, this page was smaller originally. Um, just because of the way I printed it out, apparently I missed printing on some of it. So this one here, I'm going to go ahead and put a lace on it or something that'll kind of stick out here and look cute. And um, that will cover up the rest of this where the spine is showing. There's just no way I could have kept cutting down on it. Um, I would have cut into all the ribbon sections I had too. and. Um, I just didn't want it to get any smaller. I know that's not much, but when you take it off of all of these and you go to open your book and the pages are really tiny, you know, you're getting into a different size journal altogether, a different type of journal altogether, which would be more like a traveler's journal. So I didn't want to do that. Oh, I see it's coming up right here too. So what I need to do is get glue under these and clamp them down. And I will do that today. Um, but I have sewn around all the pages except for the straw paper. Um, I didn't want to um, mess with the straw paper. It's already kind of a soft paper anyway. And so here we are with our journal and it looks good. I love it. Now I have this page offset a little bit. Happens. When I first sewed my signature in, I'll be honest with you, it was upside down. I had to take it back out. Fortunately, I had punched my holes in just the right spot that I could flip this around and use the same holes. I don't know how I did it, but I did. But this one is off. It's okay. It doesn't matter. It's kind of nice to see them with the little bits of sewing like that. And so here's another one. And this one. Now normally I wouldn't put three of these cardstock type sheets side by side but it's just the way that it worked out because this is the back of this cardstock piece and the cardstock is um, is the Epson uh, presentation paper that I'm talking about so you can see here um, when I cut I ended up with a kind of a weird cut I don't know if you can see that but it is a little bit strange here. <laughs> so I may have to come back in and even that out a little bit. Some of them I did. Um, I missed some pages apparently. So this is a really good size for Halloween. Perhaps you want to put pictures of the kids in here of Halloween and um, or maybe several Halloweens. Maybe every year at Halloween you want to put a picture in of what's going on. You could do that. And uh, yeah, it's a good size for that. Wish I'd have done something like that. That would have been cool. This is the Halloween book. Okay, so this is the center. I've already shown you all the pages. This is the same pages. They're just going backwards now. So I love this. And like I said yesterday, I sewed the glitter on the inside. I, I wrapped it over. Let me just show you again. So you know. Because this glitter just comes off of here like crazy. It gets all over everything. So what I did was 
I folded this over in half and then I pressed this down with my fingers so I got a good crease here. Then I ran, I put this on a piece of plastic, then I ran a bit of glue here and glued that down. And then I applied, because the glue was coming through, I applied a little piece of paper behind here and I folded it over and that gave a back and then I put on the front here some ribbon. Um, in this case it was the velvet uh, trim as you can see here. And then under here you can see I have a little bit of paper. So it was just a good way to close in the glitter so it's not getting all over the place. It worked out great for me. And so if I have glitter, I'm going to do that from now on, as long as it looks good. So anyway, we have some more things to do in here. So let's start right here in the center. I have sewn this, and I have triple knotted it. And now I want to close this envelope up. So I'm going to pull the sides in, like so. And I'm going to put a little mark, a little mark right here. That tells me where to stop gluing. Stop gluing, Angela. Just stop. My goodness, girl. I can't see it there at all. Oh, yes, right there. I see it now. I see it. So I just want to close this up in here. I don't know why. I just want to. No special reason. Sometimes it's nice to hide that and put an envelope in over it. I love that. Just something fun to do. A little different. Okay, so now I hope I brought along my small clips because I really need to use them right now. <laughs> the small clips are a little nicer to have inside the journal when you're still working on other parts. You can kind of work around them a little bit, not a lot. Whenever I see these on sale, I, I buy them because I just think they're cute for one. And then this will go in there. That was a really good pocket you made there, Dahlia. Thank you very much. I love it. So, there we go. Put that back in there. Now we have this, but we're going to need to put something in it. So, what will it be? Now, remember, I did say that I was bringing along a couple of um, different items. And... One of them is, I uh, don't know where it is. One of them, oh, this is Dal the kit from Dahlia. That's the kit from Dahlia. Oh, here we go. Oh, not that one. <sighs> extra. Um, this is Bum Fuzzle Boutique. They have some really cute things. Very good. But I wanted this one. And this one is by um, Jupiter Moon Designs. And she had this um, um ephemera bits and pieces advertisements and I thought oh how fun this would be pumpkin seeds trick-or-treat yeah just fun stuff Halloween treats one cent marshmallow witch oh my gosh 
Be good to your goblins. Yeah. And then here's this one, look. Jack-o'-lanterns. See these big jack-o'-lanterns? Halloween comes in the fall. I spot the hills with yellow balls in autumn. I light the prairie cornfields, orange and tawny gold clusters. They were talking about pumpkins. And I am called pumpkins. On the last of October, when dusk has fallen, children join hands and circle round me, singing ghost songs and love to the harvest moon. I am a jack-o'-lantern with terrible teeth, and the children know I'm fooling. So I want to cut some of these out because I want to use them in this journal as advertisements for goodness sake. Yes. Oh, Paper Terrace is really busy today. She keeps popping up on my phone. My goodness, girl. What are you doing? She is a busy girl, I tell you. Okay. So, let me get some of this out of the way. Um, I printed out several kits. I couldn't tell you what all of them were. Oh, look at that. No, no, no. That would go in there, but I'm going to put that somewhere else. We're going to put something else in here. But let's get some of these cut out so that we can put backs on them. Maybe I should put backs on them and then cut them out. No, it's easier to glue around a little spot than lots of big spots. So, Jupiter, Jupiter, like the planet. Planet Jupiter Moon Designs. Boy, my eyes are so bad lately. I just don't know what's going on with them. Quickly getting worse and worse. Okay. Let's line those up so they can cut straight across. I'll do the same thing here. And I just want to cut some of these out. There's one because they will be very nice to use in this journal. Yeah, they'll be very nice. I'm gonna make them into journaling cards. Not all of them, but some of them. Look at this. Isn't that cute? I love that. There's the witch and there's the owls. Okay. 1925. Cool. I do love this one. The little costumes here. These are also Jupiter Moon designs. Coronet. We used to have a store named Coronet. Was it Coronet first or was that one in Lebanon? I don't remember. Might have been Lebanon. Oh, this is not Coronet. Oh, this one was Coronet. Yeah. And then we had a store called Sprouts Reets. And it was a nice store. We deserve a store like that. Now we have a few stores, but not like 
you know, we don't have like fabric or anything like that here. We have to leave town to go buy fabric. We would love to be able to buy it in town. We used to, and then COVID happened, and then our, um, because they closed everything down, we lost our wonderful fabric shop. And the lady that was going to buy it at the time decided against buying it because of COVID. So she didn't think she could make a go of it. So, yeah. Pretty sad, huh? Yeah. Very sad. Okay, so we have this. This makes a nice tag. So I'm going to... Well, I'll put it back on it first, and then we'll cut it. And then we'll put a thing in it, like a tag. And I really want... Oh, I, I want this one for sure. This... Halloween Witch. That's a nice one. So is that. There goes my phone. Hello. We are not home right now. Please do not leave any messages. There we go. And then we just have some decorative pieces here, so I'm not going to pull those out just yet. Um, I want to get these out. Oh, here's this one too. Oh, look. Peter, Peter, pumpkin eater. Had a wife and couldn't keep her. He put her in a pumpkin shell, and there he kept her very well. My, she's sure happy for being stuck in a pumpkin. My, my, my. I would not be happy being stuck in a pumpkin. Yuck. Think of all that. Shreds of squash all over you. Who said this was fun? Not I said the spy. We have a spy in the pumpkin. He came in on the pumpkin patch. There we go. We're getting there. Might as well do this together. Some shows you how much time it takes to do a journal for sure. Just uh, a lot of these things you can do um, separately. Like you could take these out and cut on them in the living room while you're watching a show or a movie. That works. Um, there's lots of, you know, especially fussy cuts. You can do that. That's the best way to do fussy cuts for sure. Now here is this big piece. I don't think we are going to use that in there anywhere. This reminds me of the ones on the back of the comics. On the back page. Okay, so we're going to save these, and we'll do something with some of those. Uh, we need to find one that was is going to fit inside of the... I need to save this name, Jupiter Moon, put that on top of those. Okay. Come on over here, my friend. All right, I think those are good. Let's take those off. Um, instead of sewing these down, I just tied them and let them fray a little bit. Worked out fine. Okay, right here is what I want to put in here. Yes, it fits perfect. So let's back that card. And we'll back some of the others, too. Let's see. What should we back it with? I should find some paper. This is the long paper. Oh, 
Okay, I'm not going to sew around these cards. I know I've been doing that, but I'm not going to on this one. Was it this one that I wanted to put in there? I don't remember. I don't know what I did with it. Oh. Ta-da! It's this one. So I'm going to go around the edges. Like so. Oh, you know what? That page I said looked like the back of a comic book. I think we could use that. I have an idea for it. Got that one not close enough to the edge. Maybe if I pull my glasses up on my face, it will be better. I don't know about that one. Oh, this one is the one I wanted. Okay. Oh yeah, Dad helping carve the pumpkins. Pumpkin carving. Carve, carve, carve. Okay, so there's that. Now, that won't fit. Some of these should fit down here though. That will fit there. We'll put some things in here. Uh oh, we're running out of glue. <laughs> oh my. Might have to switch over to like Tombow or something. I have I have more glue. Just takes time to fill it. Doesn't take much time. Some days I'm just lazy. That's okay. We can be lazy. Oh, that does not fit. My goodness, no. I thought it was going to fit right there. It doesn't. Faint check. Name and address. Kindly fill out this card and keep on your person in case you faint when you see Frankenstein on stage in person. The Asylum of Horrors. Oh my gosh. We must go. Who's driving? You can drive if you're not a fainter. I did go to a haunted house once. I think I went with my brother. But, um, I'm not much on the Halloween haunted houses where they scare you on purpose. I'm just not much on that. That kind of freaks me out. I don't just don't really like it. It kind of scares me. <laughs> I know that's what it's supposed to do, right? But I mean it genuinely. I, I'm afraid. I'm so afraid. Because what if there was an axe murderer in there? What if, you know... A real axe murderer. I mean, you just never know what's in there. <laughs> I think it's actually because I went once and I got so frightened that I just, I just couldn't stand it anymore. I couldn't do it. 
you know what I think I'm going to do with this one? I think I'm going to turn it into a side tuck. Okay. Cards are drying. So let's just chop, chop, chop here. I know, you're getting bored, aren't you? Don't get bored. <laughs> New treatments for high blood pressure. Wine, women, and diamonds. The story of Aga Khan. October Coronet. Okay. Of course, one of these could be a side tuck, too. Actually, it could. Carol, ever since you said that, your granddaughter said that, I say that. Because it sounds so cute. She must have been adorable when she said that. Actually, Grandma. Kids are so clever, aren't they? They're so smart. <laughs> Oh gosh. Somebody's screaming out there. My neighbors fight all the time. They're so much fun. I'm glad I have a house that only has a back view. Um, we have bedrooms on the front of the house and um, my computer room faces out that way but it faces out onto a private patio um, so I love that but most of the houses have you know little living rooms at the front window out front and we do not I really like that about this house don't have to look out on the street and see what everybody's doing. My neighbor came over one time. Don't you see what the neighbors are doing? I said, no. I don't get to spy on my neighbors because her our windows all face the backyard. We face private privacy. All the way around. <laughs> uh, I never see what's going on. I like it that way. But I can hear my neighbors that fight all the time. Especially if I'm in here. Um, the they're pretty easy to hear. All right. We have some things done. Boy, I'm going to have to put a new tip. I used to clean my tips, but I don't anymore. Although I suppose alcohol would clean them good. But um, they're so cheap, I just buy new ones. I buy them by, you know, several at a time. Like six at a time. Makes it so much better. Okay, now we need to round this off. So we find a corner rounder. Well, how about a stub or a scallop? Let's make it look like a big ticket. Ta da! Ta da! Oops! Ta da! Must still be wet with glue. There. Very nice. Now that will need some ink around it, won't it? But there we go. 
I think we probably should put two in there. So let's put the coronet one in there too. And we will stub it. Let's stub your toes too. Funny how it always is one it doesn't want to cut. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That one doesn't fit. So, we need to do something with it. Um, well, let's think about it. Let's find a... Uh, um, I also bought this. I, I got to show you what I bought at Dollar Store. I thought this was kind of cool. It's plastic. But how cool is that? That'd make a good giant pocket. Or we could do it like this. Like that. Ooh, that's a nice pocket over there. Or we could do a belly band. Anyway, I bought that one. And I bought... Oh, I bought this one. This green one. Isn't that cool? That would make a nice little pocket. And I bought spider webbing and gold and spider webbing and silver more glitter paper you know you have to turn those inside out so that they don't get everywhere let's see now let's have a peek over here and we have um, let's see. Ooh, that would be nice. Let's put one of these in. Belly, a little belly band. It's kind of like a cigar label, isn't it? Is very cool. I don't know if you can see on there, but she has the haunted house on there. It looks very cool. Let's see. So we have that. I don't want to put it on this page where you can do a lot of writing. I don't want to put it on that, so I'll put it on this one. You can still do a lot of writing. Now let's see. I'm going to put it I'm going to clip a little bit off here, and a little bit more here, and we're going to go around it with some orange. I could go black, but I'm keeping it kind of happy and snappy, like I would want it to be for me to go out on Halloween night and there we go okay so we'll glue that down there I think I better clip it just a slight bit more 
And the reason is, is because I would rather have it fully on the page than to have it interfering right here. Make sense? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then we'll find something to tuck into there. Oops, that will not work. I know Dahlia has lots of tags in this. Okay, put the house right side up. This is going to go approximately where this is. Now, the one thing that I like to do with belly bands that go this direction is I like to put something down here at the bottom to catch the things that are tucking into it. So let me find that Asylum of Horrors right here, this ticket. And we're going to put this down here to be the catcher. And we'll, since that's a ticket, we'll need to punch it like a ticket. That's a stub, yeah. Stub it, yep, yeah. stub your toe. And then, oh, maybe we have one right there. And probably right there where the ticket comes apart. There we go. Okay. And normally I would back this with something, but I think it might be okay. be okay okay a little bit down here and a little bit down here you want enough glue on these that it will stay um, that it will stay down and not fold over I hope that makes sense I'm trying to make sense, but I don't know. I think that is going to be too wide for that. Let's find out. Oh, well, I think it fits. There we go. And see, this catches it. That makes it very nice. So that can't slide out when you're walking somewhere with your journal. So I love that. Um, let's tuck this in. I love that dahlia. That works out perfect. And let's see. So we have one. Let's put something else. Oh, we have the bats there. Oh, we have a nice blank piece here. Um, let's see. We have a couple of envelopes here that would work out really good on the page. I think maybe we'll put those inside with something in them. Oh, yes, this is what I wanted right here. These. Yes, 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 yes. off straight here. So I think maybe right about here. 
No, I didn't quite get that one, did I? I'm not going to put them, I'm not going, I'm going to just glue them down flat so that the papers don't fall out since I'm only putting lightweight papers in them. Now, if I had a booklet to put in there, I would want to keep these flaps on and make it fit. Now, there is a little bit of white showing up here, so I'm going to place something up there. Um, perhaps um, a pumpkin or something like that. Maybe we'll put a ticket up there. Oh, maybe we'll put the 31st up there. We like the 31st. Whoops! Oh, I hurt my belly band. Oh, I thank goodness I can reprint it. ticket for the 31st or we can't go on that day. Okay. Alright. So, right up here we're going to put this on. I don't care if it hangs out. It's alright. Or we could just put it like this. Let's see, we're going to go here, right? We're going to go in here? Yeah, let's let's go inside to here. So, we need to put this maybe like that. No, maybe like that. Hmm. Or maybe I'll just make it shorter. There we go. That's what I'll do. I'll make it shorter. So there we go. Very cute. We'll have to go around that. Okay, so if we put this one here, and then we go back this way, um, we can evenly place these. There and here. Okay, so let's put this one down. And then we have some ephemera over here we can put there, I think. I'm going to put it inside of the stitching because I want it to show since I'm not stitching the ephemera. And I do think we will put that on there, like so, but I will put a little piece of something else with it. Like a little piece of lace, maybe. Pieces of lace, maybe. Ooh, I have thread, too. We might do that. So we have this. Let's put this around it and now this is a journaling card because I've backed it so it's going to go in here like so and I think we'll put this one with it Halloween's festival There we 
go. Oh, sweet. Oh, sweet. Okay. A little bit of this stuff. Yes. This is all my threads from cutting off the bottom. Cool. I love it. It doesn't come together very well. <laughs> so I'm going to glop on some glue. Glop. Glop, glop, glop. Glop, glop, glop. And then I'm going to glop on some thread. Like so. <laughs> Help! My fingers are stuck. That does not work. Don't glop. It doesn't work. Glopping doesn't work. See, it's still sticking to my other fingers. See it? <laughs> There we go. All right. Now, I didn't get this under there. And I forgot to go around it with my ink. Let's just do it that way. I like oranging it up anyway. I think that looks pretty cool. Okay, put that back over there. Throw that piece away and that piece goes away. Okay, so there's that page and that looks pretty good, I guess. Just got thread, 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 thread. Go back here. Look for the orange page right there. Cool, I love this. So pretty. I don't know why I'm using that glue, but it works. I guess because I had it open. Okay. So I forgot to go around that with some ink too. So there we go. Now we'll put this card in there. I will need to toss this under here for a second. Okay, got that. Now, do this. There we go. I like that. The owls is a good one to put in the trees. And let's see. We did a belly band in here on this page. So I think this is its other page. No, it's not. This is. So we're going to do another one right over here. And let's find it. No. Oh dear, I cut it off.
I should check our time. I bet we've been here a while, huh? I'm just having too much fun. I'm just chatting away and gluing, 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 gluing. Almost done. Okay. We're going to put that right here. We're going to cut a little bit off here. A little bit here. Perfect. This is crooked. Okay. All right, let's go around it with some ink. And then we have some really cute pockets that I would like to put in. Um, but we'll look at the time as soon as I get this done. Because I'll bet it's time to let you go. Oh yeah, 59 minutes and 32 seconds. So I better hurry and get this piece down. Before you guys say goodbye, Angela, you're just too late. Don't leave me. Don't leave me alone. Oh, I'm trying to hurry. Okay, we need something down here to stop it. So let's use the 31st down here this time. Although there's that Frankenstein faint card. Oh yeah, I like that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> somebody got my daughter, one of my daughter-in-laws, by saying that, um, well, it's Friday the 13th. We had that Friday the 13th. And, and uh, this year, Halloween falls on the 13th, Friday the 13th. <laughs> And she went to tell us this story, and we all kind of looked at her, and she was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it, that she fell for that. <laughs> yeah, yep, yep, yep. Yeah, that was a, that was a dirty trick, because it sounds so good. Oh yeah, Halloween falls on Friday the 13th. It should, but it doesn't. <laughs> Oh, it was cute. Very cute. I just love my kids so much. Not going to fit there. Okay, so this one will have to become a journal card. So I will, or a, a, a tag, like originally I said. So we will have to do that. I'm going to stick it up there so we know we have there to work on when we come back. And gosh, we're getting lots of places, guys. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. So we'll leave this page open as our Oh, headache. Got a headache. Ouch. Okay. 
So when I come back, I'm going to have my desk cleaned up a little bit better. And um, it'll look a little neater for me. You probably won't be able to tell. But I will. All right. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this. And I hope that you're working on one of these as well. It's sure a lot of fun. Let me get you in closer so you can see it. There you go. All right. Thanks for hanging out with me today. And I will talk to you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.